Could we see a little more mixing in the greater Toronto area this evening? I'm going to let you know with your regional weather forecast. I'm Lindsay Morrison. It's Monday, December the 10th. And before we dive into that and give you an idea of what you can expect through the rest of the week, we're going to be taking a look at Black Creek Pioneer Village. And that's where we find our very own Natalie Thomas. She is live on location talking about uh, what it's like to enjoy an old-fashioned Christmas. Natalie, I'm going to hand it over to you. Black Creek Pioneer Village. Coming up, we're going to be schnitzing. If you want to know what that is, uh, make sure to stay with us. But for now, back <laughs> inside of the studio. Oh, well, there you go. Natalie, I think I have, now have that song, Chestnuts Roasting on an Open Fire, playing in my head. I don't think I'm alone on that one either. We will be checking back in with Natalie coming up, but I, uh, I mentioned there is the risk of some mixing this evening in the greater Toronto area, maybe once again in the city of Toronto. Last night, you had snow, you had ice pellets and then you had rain. It was one of those nights where you just wanted to stay indoors, where it was nice and dry and warm. So there's the risk area. Snow, that system that affected us yesterday, that's pushing into Quebec and Atlantic Canada. Looks like mainly rain for you if you are in the Niagara region. But the main reason we're watching for the potential for mixing is because temperatures right around the freezing mark. And when you factor in that wind chill, it's going to be feeling even colder than that. So through this evening, feeling into the minus single digits, plunging through the overnight, in fact, and feeling into the minus double digits. And as we take a look at Tuesday, this is a bit of a cool day for you in Toronto. Minus two, but look at that, mix of sun and clouds. Overall, not a bad day. And not much in the way of precipitation once we move into tomorrow, or in fact, through the rest of the week. This system looks like it's going to stay north of us. So overall, it's going to be seasonal and breezy for your Wednesday. There's that system, once again, sticking to the north, so that's the good news. Friday is going to be mild. How does six degrees in the city of Toronto sound for you? Your seven-day forecast looks like this. First chance of some more uh, intense active weather looks to be next Saturday. And depending where you are, we could even get some mixing into that forecast. Hamilton looking pretty dry until Saturday, but it's very that you can see temperatures and overnight lows are going to be on the cool side, so we could see some snowflakes in that region. Like